Hey guys and welcome back to StarMade. This is Surge with another ship showcase. So today I'm showing off the battleship that I worked on this weekend that I've already uploaded a small video on with a little progress. I did not expect to get this finished or at least pretty much just up to the polishing stage. Uh, I've already loaded this onto the server and I think it's going to prove itself very very useful as our main battleship for the Atlas fleet. So. As you can probably see already, so there's a lot of similar things you can, if you've watched my other videos, you can probably pick some of these turrets already. These forward facing turrets and the ones down here on the side are the point defense turrets that I have on my Atlas station and on my sledge, uh, rather my dredge mining vessel. On the side here, you've got the two arm cannons off of my uh, little cricket uh, or the little uh, cicada, which is what I'm thinking about naming the uh, small dropship that I designed. And up here, you've got the AMS anti-missile turrets up here. So uh, yeah, let's take a bit of a look at this guy. So it stands roughly, well, rather exactly 89 meters tall. It's a vertical ship, the first vertical ship that I've really done. Uh, on this kind of scale. I've only really ever done two vertical ships ever. Uh, the other one I've not shown off before, but it is available on the um, community site for StarMade. It is called the, I believe it's called the Buzzard. So as far as it goes, I haven't got a name for this yet. It does resemble some things. I'm hoping to find a name to suit. Because uh, you can sort of see it kind of resembles a face up here with a big maw or a big mouth that's screaming here. Uh, I had a few ideas, maybe calling it the Screaming Welsh, uh, or the Wode Screech, uh, the Wode Screamer, something along those lines. Uh, maybe the Green Dragon, I don't know. Uh, kind of looks sort of like, um, sort of like a dragon, I guess, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of want to sit, uh, stick to the whole Celtic uh, Viking theme. It's why I've got the Valkyr. Uh, which I know is not Valkyrie, but I like the that, that word Valkyrie a little bit better. Uh, so I'll probably go along that line something. So you've got the uh, main weapons on the side here. Two big cannons on either side that uh, deliver quite the punch. Or at least for the sh size of ship this is. Uh, we've got little cameras up here from a previous video that I did. That just goes to... Uh, Act sort of like mini drones that follow the ship to give you different camera directions without having to have just floating cameras out there. Uh, we've got only one real room in this entire ship. There's nearly no interior in this. This entire thing is practically uh, one big warship. So there's a lot of empty space, which I will either fill with thrusters or more shields or something along those lines. Uh, I just kind of built it to. Uh, to my specifications that I had had in mind when I was building this. Uh, but long story short, there's a lot of room here to fill with some more shields. As far as it goes now, it has just, just over 2 million shields, uh, which makes it able to take a bit of a punch. And it does have a fairly decent amount of support from an ion effect, which gives me 33.8% bonus shields. So I could always fill that empty space to make that exactly 50 if I want. It also has an overdrive, uh, which gives me 42% overdrive. Again, I can make that 50 with using up that extra space. It currently sits at 1.2 mass ratio, which is a fairly decent max speed. Uh, I was planning this to have this thing a quite a, a faster ship, faster vessel, before I realized that it is going to be the battleship uh, slightly bigger than a than a cruiser um, that I want to have as a sort of a, a flagship for the fleets, or at least the most common ship that you would have next to the gunship. Now, the other thing that this has, um, which was something I'm pretty proud of, is the fact that this has this cannon down the bottom here. Now, this cannon is fairly, fairly powerful. It's almost as powerful as the ones up there, except it's at 100% cannon slave so it's a complete rapid fire cannon uh, and it only fires at what you have targeted so it will only fire at um, whatever is in my path and only 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 has an up down axis so it only works off that y axis 
So it doesn't have a left and right, but it is designed to only shoot at what you're aiming at. So if you're aiming forward, which I'd imagine you would be if you're flying this guy around, that's sort of the point. So just in the back here, let's have a look at some more of these details. In the back here, we got the big thrusters and blinking lights all over the place. I got a little bit carried away with these blinking lights, uh, but I really, really like blinking lights. So it has some backwards facing missile tubes here. Uh, which are designed to, again, fire at what you target at, but uh, when they fire, they do spread backwards and sort of, I guess, end up being sidewinder missiles, which allow them to hit your target from the side, especially good if they're firing directly at you and able to shoot down your turrets. So you've got a little bit of a decor back here with, a, with my banner, my woad banner, which is something that you'll see in a lot of my ships. The... Uh, sort of like the Celtic uh, spiral um, with the blue flag of white and blue and that's behind a helmet which isn't super noticeable but it isn't meant to be a primary part of the design I sort of stuck it there because I wasn't entirely sure what to stick there and I just felt it fit the little I guess mythos or um, design that I had for a lot of my other ships you got some exposed piping here for no other reason but to look cool um, you've got another AMS turret up here. You've got lovely orange stripes. I'm probably going to build another version which, well, of this, which is completely orange with red stripes. Um, or at least everywhere that's green will be orange, and everywhere that's orange will be red. Now, that's purely just to um, satiate a little need that I have of my own, which is to have a color scheme specifically for myself and the faction. Uh, which matches that of my breaker uh, dreadnought, which you may have been able to see in another uh, episode I did of an update on Atlas Quest. So, as far as we got uh, internals, there's not a lot going on inside this thing, as you saw. Uh, to get in this ship, fairly simple. Uh, I've got a pseudo USD docker right here which can be adjusted depending on what kind of USD you're using on the server. I kind of want to show this off because I think it's important. I'm not a big fan of the whole USD uh, system, which people like to boast about being the most uh, important part of ship builds, especially to play with other people. Um, but I will use them in some circumstances. I refuse to use that um, hazard stripe because I think it serves a better purpose as actual hazard stripe. Um, and I just don't see it working too well down here. But if you step through here, you will come into a room, which is this teleporter, which allows you to get to the very top, which I'll step out of the core in a second so you can see. Uh, as far as other things that this ship has, so it's got main cannon in the front, main shoots three missiles, rather main missiles in the front. front. Fires out of the mouth, lock-on missiles. Uh, I'm not sure how effective they are, but they do do quite a bit of damage each. You got your main cannons shooting out the front, do a chunky, chunky projectile, and, and quite a bit of damage at 50% slave. Uh, and you've got your backwards side-winding missiles that would wind around the front that do take a considerable amount of power out of the ship. But that's okay. The ship has a reasonably high power recharge at... Uh, where are we? Just shy of a million power per second, so you got 900,000 power per second. Uh, it's got 49,000 shields per second, which is, I think, enough shields per second for recharge uh, at the 2 million shield mark. Uh, this thing is fairly able to take a hit, and I have the ion effect if I need it. Um... A lot of bit, bit, bit of extra room in here for logic. So if you want to put in sensors, which I intend to, uh, to put sensors in to determine whether or not shields are at a lower percentage that would either turn off or turn on uh, the ion effect. So if shields empty, it is to turn off the ion effect. And if shields are full or about halfway, I guess they would turn the ion effect back on. Uh, it has a radar jammer and a scanner and the typical kind of stuff, but it does have these two inner ship remotes. One's pretty simple. They are to turn the engines on or off, which is, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. You turn the engines on or off. 
So this other button, it turns the bridge lights on and off, or uh, rather they turns them from white. And you can see all these white lights in here. And if you toggle it again, turns off the white lights, turns on the red when you go into battle mode. And that's important because if we go into the cockpit view, which is through one of these cameras, there we go, there's our cockpit view. So this is a little camera sitting in the chair here. Um, it's a lot harder to see through the cockpit if you've got the lights behind you turned on. But uh, yeah, we got to get the engines back on. Uh, I've got to put some data in there. On the copy of the ship that I have on the server in there, I've got the shield lights, uh, sorry, the shields and the power ability and a little bit of um, decoration to kind of make it look like it's a cursor. Uh, otherwise, let's have a quick walk around the one room that this place actually has. Uh, the ship only really has this one room. Uh, as you can see, all in here is where the cargo goes. So there is a bit of cargo. There is your teleporters here to get back downstairs if you need to. A bit of decorative server blocks here that do serve a purpose. Give you some health back. Looks like I needed some. A uh, good big window out the back for looking at what's going on. Or just to get a good, uh, you know, good view of the galaxy. Got these little... Um, I guess pause down here to get the logic. Didn't really spend a lot of time decorating under here because this is purely for maintenance. You don't really need to do much down here. This is the engine bay, I guess, just to just to kind of do some maintenance. I might decorate it up a little bit, uh, you know, dress it up to make it look a bit more like an engine bay. Um, but at this point in time, I don't really need to. All along here are your weapons. Uh, and if I fall here, I'm probably not going to get back up again. Oh, nah, no, I would. So right here, we're just below the cockpit here. So it's got a fairly decent scanner on this guy too. Uh, charges quite fast. Um, jump drives pretty fast, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but what we'll also do is a quick weapons demonstration to give you guys an idea of what the weapons are like on this thing. So let's jump around the front here. Let's get back in that little seat here. Let's get back. So just in front of me, we've got the faction block right here. Radar jammer, scanner and a cargo that connects up to the cargo behind us. Uh, we jump back in the core, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna toggle the lights back off. I don't want my radar jammer on. Let's turn that off. And let's open up the catalog here, and let's just spawn something to attack. Let's spawn this little thing, which is my, as you'll see in just a second, it is my, let's just give it a chance to load. There we go, there we go. So this is my little dropship. So I'm gonna have to throw him to the wolf right here. We're going to have to uh, use him as our weapons test. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show off the turret that I have on the bottom, which you can see is already trying to aim upwards at it. So it doesn't have a super great range, um, but as soon as I get a little bit closer to its range, there you go it can chase down and fire at enemies that I want to fire at. I didn't, I wasn't really able to make it go too high up, as you can see, without uh, really destroying some of what the the uh, actual ship is meant to look like. Uh, but I did my best to try and keep, keep the aesthetic happening. So I'm gonna quickly stop that from firing by dis selecting it. And we're gonna use our I'm going to use a different camera. So I've got this camera and this camera. This camera is a little easy to function in. This one's purely for roleplay. Uh, we've got the core view there, which isn't too bad. You've got side cameras there and there. And then you got this reverse camera, which is going to be the one we're going to use for this demonstration. Uh, purely because I want to show off these missiles. Uh, so we're going to show off the sidewinders. They're pretty self-explanatory, but you'll get the gist of this in just a second. So... We're going to fire those. And here we go. So they've got a long arc, but they reach their target. And ooh, there goes that ship. So not much left of it. I probably should have chosen something a little beefier. But yeah, now it's done. So we're going to spawn another one. Get a little brother in there. All right. 
right, buddy. You're the next sacrifice here. So I'm gonna get back into my camera view so I can aim my main cannons at this thing, or rather my main missiles, the, the screaming breath, if you will. Whoops. Let's fire them before we switch out. And let's fire. So that looks like it's done a bit of damage. Won't be able to check without actually selecting it. Yeah. So let's let's get in close here. Yep, that took out the back. Let's let's go into build mode for this. Yeah. So they do it. They do a bit of damage. Uh, you got to remember that the ships I build typically have standard armor, even on the small ones. Uh, which you know that this is just a good example of the benefit of using uh, that kind of armor because. Those missiles could have done a lot more damage if that was just standard hull. That back probably wouldn't be there anymore. Uh, let's show off the cannons quickly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to... I'm just going to fire those. I don't need to aim at anything. Which I already have already, I believe. And just to finish this demonstration off, what we're going to do is we're just going to port really quickly. And we're going to fly... Let's just jump into this bit of unknown space right here. Yeah, this is perfect. Bit of unknown space. Ooh, look at that. It's not a pirate station. All right, guys, this is war, or this is combat. Let's get in there and do some damage to this pirate station. All right, I'm approaching the target. I'm within two kilometers out. I should have my other guns firing soon what do we got here looks like my turrets are firing off let's go into camera mode there we go look at that all the turrets seem to be doing what they're meant to be doing I'm just gonna make sure I've got them all turned on activate all AI turrets in case missiles come our way because we do not like them missiles. That's why I've got a lot of AMS for this station. They don't seem to want to be firing any missiles at us, but that's okay. We can deal with that. Ooh, here we go. They don't want to spawn there for a moment. All right, so this seems to have taken a lot of damage. It has 2.7, uh, or is that 2.0? No, it's 2.7 million shields on it. And we're going to fire at it using our main cannons just to see the kind of damage we can do here. So that's my jump drive. So main cannons don't do a ton of damage, but they are taking its shields down quite steadily. This isn't really designed to be the big hitter, but it is designed to do enough damage, especially when grouped up in a fleet. So we're going to fire the breath at it, the dragon's breath, and that's done a small chunk of damage. Um, sort of realizing that the weapons on this are a little underwhelming. But what we're going to do is we're going to try out our Sidewinders, see what kind of damage they do, because they seem to absorb the most amount of my energy. See how these go. So, zoom right out on that, see where those Sidewinders went. There they go, all coming from all over the place. Oh, there we go, there goes the rest of the shields. So yeah, as you can see, this, this guy holds its own. These are just a default pirate station, of course. There's nothing super special about it. Uh, what are we doing here? I'm going to go back into... Or am I in build mode? I'm in build mode. So there we go. This is... If you got a good name for the ship, please let me know. Uh, just quickly, these cannons, as you can see, they've got a uh, punch-through effect on them. So they are designed not necessarily to take down the shields, but once the shields are down to do quite a bit of damage to the things that it fires at uh so yeah this has been surge with another ship review uh we've been looking at my new battleship leave a name suggestion in the comments below of what you think i should call this thing uh if you have any suggestions for um any upgrades i should do to it anything i should change uh, leave that in the comment section below as well leave a like if you like this video leave a dislike if you disliked it and uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And this has been Surge with another uh, ship showcase. Signing out.